Well, Jim, forgive me, but I have to, when Max said that, Jim leaned over me and goes, my wife would kill me hearing me say that. And it made me think that Jim told us backstage that his wife did 90 push-ups. <laughs> she did. She challenged you to a push-up. He did 89. No, I didn't. I didn't. No. I did about 25. 25? <laughs> she was rubbing it in. How many of you folks out there are songwriters yourself? Raise your hand. Really? Come on, let me see. I know there's some songwriters out there. All right. Do you ever, do you see songs? I mean, do you see things and go, that's a song? Or, or you hear a, a term, somebody says something, or, and you go, that sounds like a song, or that looks like a song. How many of you experience that? Do you songwriter? Yeah. That's kind of how this song came about. I uh, I was out on the road with uh, an artist that, that I hope we all know and love, a great traditional country singer, and uh, just a fine young man. His name is Wade Hayes. Can you remember that? I was out with Wade to, uh, specifically to write songs with and for Wade. And I've been very blessed to have, have written uh, songs with artists that have done well. They've been very nice to allow me to travel with them. Well, that particular week we were up in the UP. We were up in Michigan and uh, he was at a fair. And while Wade was over at the fairgrounds doing his sound check, I was at the Burger King next to the Red Roof Inn. Of course, you probably couldn't tell that by looking at me, but I came out the door and I saw this huge, gigantic, the biggest American flag I'd ever seen. And it had this big gold eagle on the top of it. And so, uh, the next day, I was to be back in town, and I had a riding appointment with Aaron Tippin. And uh, so when Wade found out years later that I wrote this song with Aaron Tippin, uh, he was very happy for us. And that just tells you what kind of guy Wade is. But uh, I'm going to try to remember this one for you as well.
Oh, my. 